TNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time Update, 30 minutes into the trading day. And we got markets in positive territory, some weak retail sales numbers pointing to the economy cooling, pointing to the potential of inflation cooling, and the need for the Federal Reserve to hike further, maybe not as necessary as we have the 10-year. Uh, spiking higher prices this morning with lower yield. You're talking about a 10-year yield right at 3.4% now. Uh, it was below it briefly. The 10-year, we'll jump over to the chart in a moment, but we got markets in positive territory. s and is up by half a percent. You're coming right into the highs we had yesterday morning at just about this time. We'll see if we can beat them or hold them or trade lower. You got the NASDAQ 100. We're up 117. That's a full percent right now. You get the Dow up 46 and the Russell up by 18. Crude above 82 bucks. We just had a great conversation with our man Teddy Kegstat at 40 past the hour last hour. If you didn't check it out, folks, you can check it out at our YouTube channel. Always available. We have the dollar index lower today on lower yields. And we have some Japan action in terms of their currency. But that is helping the gold contract up about $13 right now. And there's your action on the 10 year man you talk about a spike we're up a full point and one ticket 115.22 and as i mentioned right now 3.397 percent that's what i got we got a 3.3 handle on the 10 year at 115.23 and you take a look at this thing man it's been quite a run from 118.26 you've now broken out of this channel line we'll see if we get a retest of it but right now we're talking about higher price lower yield the 30 year is up two full points and six ticks right now we jump over to the dollar index dxy there's a slide for you, and we'll put it on a 15-minute action. You talk about a run from almost 103 to 101.50, a full point and a half in terms of that action. Uh, yeah, that's going to have some action across the board. And as I mentioned, dollar yen, man, dollar yen, whew, you talk about a pop to 131.50 on that number. But as I was talking about with Teddy, as he was pointing out, probably rightfully so, uh, the market is aware that they will be changing policy, folks. Do I still have the chart up there? I do still have the chart up there. And that's the reason why, because that's their yield on the 10-year, folks, basically at zero. <laughs> Pretty remarkable. Bank of Japan keeps their rates at negative 0.1%. Uh, they're not dealing with inflation. We are, but eventually they're going to have to hike those yields. Eventually that will matter in the end. Stay tuned, folks. Basil did his show at 8. That's coming up right now. Then, of course, we have live programming after that. You're talking about Steve Rhodes, Fast Market, Larry Pesavento, Dave White, and my dad live from 3 till 4. Have a great Wednesday, everybody.